Sani Halil. You know, made a claim that both of you received military training in Libya. Me, everybody know that I go Libya. No be new team. Everybody knows I be Gaddafi friend, but that man are four one nine. He's a liar. When you read, I'm a Muslim. I read the Quran. Read that man. He says he's a he's, 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 he's a phony fellow who want to gain from gullible Christians. When you come out, you yes, say I be Boko Haram. I don't know. So they go to the hang out. They go to touch your money. Me, when I become Muslim, now persecution. My family say, ah! My grandmother say, you don't go join them. Have you gone to join them? The Northern has say, ah, this is a fake Muslim. Are we lady? So from both so, sides? From both sides, I became a bird. I was neither an animal nor a bird. So there is no benefit, pecuniary benefit whatsoever, that anybody from my area who become Muslim will gain. I have not seen my uncle is 84 years. He has been a Muslim for over... F He's living in my house. He's a poor man. I'm treating him. I like Yaduna Yongari. So I have not seen anything I would gain pecuniarily from Islam other than disgrace. Because I've gone... I am an Amakri. I cannot go and do Bambi Allah. I can't go and beg. So for being a Muslim, it was injurious to me. Sacrificial. Yes, to be a Muslim in my place. But Ijo people look at me. Say, this man is a Muslim. We trust him. On all, on all that, they made me the president of the premier Ijo organization, mm. Ijo Youth mm. Council. Yes. That shows the acceptance. And that's why I pay my allegiance. I'm an Ijo man first before any other thing. Now, okay, now let's come to uh, the amnesty. Did you spearhead the, 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 the discussion? Did you, did you uh, moot the idea? Uh, were you the one that actually uh, was in the vanguard to say to everybody, okay, okay, look, it's enough blood let's find a way to discuss this way. look in every struggle there are the revolutionaries there are reactionaries who are counter-revolutionaries and there are fifth, fifth columnists within the revolution we discovered that our revolution had been infiltrated hmm. by elements and we need to purge them and we know that they are only there for kidnapping, for blackmailing, for extortion, for all what not. And we propose that if there is any crisis, two days, three days, they will capitulate. The, it is best to shift the wheat from the okay. grain. Okay. Okay. So I was among the people who proposed to Governor Silva that, look, there's a danger. Hmm. That is brewing here. If these people do not leave. And he accepted. And he set up a committee. I was a member. And we met with the president, former president, Yaradwa. Yeah. We met with the National Assembly. We met with all the state governors, Ondo, Edo, everybody. We met with all of them to support these people to come out. Let us know those who are. who are in the struggle and those who are just helping themselves. Interlopers. In our name. So they took amnesty. We, the real ones, we did not take. We did not take the amnesty. Because this, the amnesty is the most dangerous thing that has, happened. that has happened in the Niger Delta. It is the most wicked and satanic thing that has happened in the Niger Delta. Are you saying that you're not because benefiting from the amnesty? I am not a part of the amnesty. Because you now tell a young man to sit at home, you give minutes. him 65,000. It should not work. Then you are going to make all of us lazy. A time will come when, a, 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 when my daughter go to the university, when she graduates, her salary might not be up to sixty-five thousand. She now say, ah, "Daddy, why should I go to school when well, I can simply campaign. sit at home?" It's very dangerous. But it's already happening now because the yes. is over, right? Yes. And yes. some of the people that have been trained or uh, rehabilitated, I've refused to go back to work. Yes, even when you employ them. In my school, MSC students were sent. To you? Yes, to, to train them. Okay. No, to train. Okay. Uh, PTDF sent students. Some state government sent students to my school for training. It's the only automobile institution in the whole of West Africa. We took city and gear. In, for, he said, West African for English and nature yes. for Gambia, for Sierra Leone, for Liberia is the only one that is on 
for that is not a British colony for Ghana and for Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Out of the five people who distinguished themselves, two of them were our students. And they were shocked. And unfortunately, no amnesty person came out of that. Yes. Unfortunately, they pay good money to them. They, are, they take 65000 in Nigeria. And when they are training, free food, free housing, free transport, free everything, and they pay them $500. Huh. None of them came out with any good results. None of them. No, they, they passed. Let my people go. <laughs> they passed. But the PTDF that has less number of students in automobile, two of their students came out best, five best for City and Gil. The other one, he did not do science in his own level. The other one did science. They've been awarded a scholarship to proceed to City and Gil in, in this thing, to do a degree program by City and Gil for outstanding performance. So you see them, they say, now our money, if they come to the canteen, they take the plate, they break it. Bah, now our money! Huh? Now waiting! We don't go shop! I said, now for my school, I go to the other one, I don't go shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, make we fight. Oh, yeah, come on. Bring them, bring them. Let's fight. Oh, yeah. Now fight. Now bottle won't break. Oh, yeah, make we break bottle. Which gun you shoot? That's amazing. Okay, uh, the, 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 the issue now would be when you were still in the creeks, when this... I am still in the creeks. No, no, wait, no, let's... No, no I am. No, 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 let's... No, yeah, okay, let's... It, it, when in the past, when, yes. when, when this journey started yes. in the creeks, how were you able to actually manage this relationship? Because many of your uh, members, as it were, we are not really trained. They were like boys picked up from, you know, from the street or something. So how were you able to coordinate them? No, my group was different. There are people, business? yes, Niger Delta people volunteer for us. There are people sitting here. The other one is an accountant. The other one is a, a, this thing. There's one is a mechanical engineer. We have doctors. Our movement grew from the IYC. Where you have people like Oronto Douglas and so on. Yes, the movement grew. The bulk of Niger Delta people volunteer for us. It's a disagreement with the IYC. I was president. We sponsored the motion. No, don't tell them sponsor a counter motion. No. IYC is not an arm organization. Yeah. IYC is not an arm organization. We, we believe that one gunshot is more effective than a thousand years of salmonization. So we, we are going for the gunshot. And we, we broke away. So, uh, Patrick Akpopolo came in with that, uh, Kinsley Kuku, and so many people. So it's not the same group. That does not mean that other elements did not join us who formed the bulk. And people like us, we had training. proper military training. And there were people who left the army, who left the forces, who thought that freedom has come. Mm. And who also left the army, who left the police, who left the DC to, to come and join us. So we are different. And that's why for 11 months, we were very effective. Yes. Until our person yes. just sought for yes. peace. 11 months, they did not arrest any one of our members. The, there was no kidnapping throughout the period we were there. No kidnapping, no bank robbery, no nothing. Because most of these people, that's why it is volunteer force. Two weeks in, two weeks out, two weeks they come, they go to, they have, we encourage our members to be, to have their own business. Normal lives. Their own businesses. Most of our people don't work for anybody. They are selling, they have shops, they have chemists, they have this. That's what our people do. If you go today, if you say Niger Delta People Volunteer Force members, we have our political wing, the people's, uh, Niger Delta People Salvation Front, you come and you find out that you see us, we are not in the amnesty program, you see cars line up, you, you see that in every community we have our shops, we have our district, we do. So we don't talk to people. When people talk out of ignorance, we laugh at them. It's not the same. We are not disparaging the others. Okay, but do you have any relationship with others? Do you have some kind of cooperation? Do you have uh, 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 collaborations in some of your operations? No? No, most of them are broke away from our group. We started as pioneers. Uh, Boy Love was our member. Farah Dagogo was our member. Igbele, Bostaran, uh, Young Shah Group. Most of these people were members and commanders of the Niger Delta People's Volunteer Force. The moral high grounds 
the moral simonization we give to people, they are not ready for it. it. Mm. People were enticing them that hey, if you do this, money will come. Mm. If you do this, money will come. All sorts of things were happening. But there were also people, good people, like Tom Polo, was very good. We had a very, it's an IYC member, we had a very excellent good relationship. We are. We had this relationship. So up to now, we interface. We might not totally agree. On some issues. Yes, on the modus. Okay. We might not totally agree on the modus. But we had very, myself and Tombolo, we had very robust relationship. When I left River State and ran, it was Tombolo and others that sheltered me. Mm. If they were the people who took care of me. Because who of took the struggle. Yeah. Yes, we, 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 because of the struggle. But we have different ideologies. We are coming from different. I come from a Marxian background. I come from a socialist background. I was close to revolutionary movement outside the shores of, of, Nigeria. of Nigeria. So I, my own, what I brought in and what others were trying to do, 